Hi, I'm Eileen Lonergan and I'm a big fan of the Small Biz theme for WordPress. I've used it on, for several projects and this is my own website where I recently added the social media icons into the navigation bar and I want to show you the few steps needed in order to achieve this. First, you need the icons and I highly suggest that you take a look over at iconfinder.com. You put in what you're looking for, and then you have the ability to use for commercial use or private use. And you can set the pixel height and width, and you can choose if you want a white background, transparent, or black. I would suggest transparent because chances are your navigation bar is going to be a color so you don't want it to you know the background to be white otherwise the little boxes will sort of look funny so first you're going to go to Facebook or you're going to icon finder and you'll find the icons that you want and you'll download them you can put them onto your desktop or hard drive then you're going to go into your website and you're going to add new oops you're going to add new media and as you would with any other image you upload the files and you can see from my library what you want is to get the file URL. Once you have it, copy it and paste it into a text editor or some other place for easy access later and then what you're going to do is go into appearance under editor and you're probably familiar with your style sheet or your style CSS but this is where you put in any special customizations to override the default template now these customizations that we're doing now are for your menu bar and so for each icon you're adding you need a special piece of CSS and I've just called them menu-twitter, menu-facebook, RSS feed where somebody can sign up for my newsletter or to get my blog into their um, inbox and Google for my Google Plus icon. You can put in Pinterest, Instagram, whatever icons you want. And then the only sort of difference that, may, that you're definitely going to have to do is in your text editor where you pasted the file URL, you'll change this to suit whatever your upload is. So here's my Twitter Eileen Lonergan, my Facebook Eileen Lonergan. So those will all be suited towards you. You can also customize the margin left here if you want it aligned differently. I kind of wanted mine to stack up beneath my logo. Um, then what you do is come over to your um, oops, sorry, menus and you're going to put in the custom link. So for our example, I'm just going to grab my Facebook URL. I guess I should be getting Twitter but since that was my first icon. But what you do is you put in the link and the label. I'm just going to call it Facebook and I'm going to add it to the menu. And then it will show up over here as Facebook custom. Now one thing I want you to note is that what you need to enable at the top of your screen in your menus, go to screen options link target. I'm selecting this because I want my link to go outside of my website and open in a new window if somebody clicks on Facebook or Twitter. And CSS classes, that is an absolute must. And then here, CSS classes, you call it menu-facebook, Twitter, Google+, whatever, and you save the menu. And then when you look at the website, you see I've added in another Facebook icon. Let me know if you have any questions.